It's a lovely little camera. It does everything that you can want from a Semi Pro. I mean, it's got the, the Semi. The, it's got the Pro features, and you can use it as a, as a, just a ready-to-use camera. You can use it completely dumbly and just leave it intelligent also, and it does a pretty good job. And then you've got full aperture priority program priority, so shutter shutter speed, and then you've got full manual, so you, you can you, you can do what you like with it. So if you want to be a happy snapper, you can just take photos, and it will just do it. And if you want to do something clever, you can do that as well. Metal body, it, you know, they, they can take a bit of a bash. Um, they, don't, they don't feel plasticky at all. Um, it, it, you know, it's, it feels a good solid camera. It seemed to get colours a bit weird, so I took some pictures of orange stuff which turned out pink. But, you know, in terms of what it looks like on the screen here, it looks fine. Whether What they look like when they're blown up or in, in real life is, is difficult to know. But, I mean, the, the image quality was pretty good. It's really easy to use. And uh, I mean, this has actually got touch screen, so you can use some of the functions on the back. Press it on, on the function that you're using, and you can override or move an EV stop up. You've got a slider on there, so if, you're, if you are looking to change the aperture or the priority or bracket stops, you can, just, you can just do that on the screen. That's actually quite useful. You know, Sony have got a nice range of lenses for it, and with the, we, I tried it with the adapter with a big lens, and it was taking for normal pictures, except that kills the battery life but it is a very nice simple to use camera with Wi-Fi and with auto uploading to Facebook and whatever else you need on there.